The developer of the AI-generated ARG game on Steam has declared war on me and other YouTubers through filing false DMCA takedown notices. Just when we thought that this guy couldn't get any scummier, he had to take it to the next level. Hello, I'm John, and on this channel, I share my opinions on video games that are lazy, cash grabs, or scams. A few months ago, I released a video covering a very suspicious game on Steam. Unhappy that I showed proof that his game is nothing but a deceptive cash grab and borderline scam, the developer decided to file a DMCA takedown in an attempt to get the video removed. Since I don't want this video that you're watching right now to also be taken down, I'm not going to show any footage from that video, as the copyright counter notice is still pending. And just to be super certain that this scumbag doesn't copyright strike this video too, I won't even say the name of his game. But in summary, that video just consisted of me playing the game, explaining what it is, and then giving my opinion as to why you shouldn't waste $15 on it. Nothing copyright infringing, obviously, since it's my own gameplay footage, voice, and editing. To reiterate some of my points from that video though, the game in question does not contain any visuals and is less than 100 megabytes in size. Playing this game, if you can even call it that, involves staring at a black screen and listening to some Google translated AI generated voices giving you instructions such as press forward two times or press right six times. These instructions are nearly impossible to follow though since the AI generated voices are so bad you can barely understand what they're saying. There's also a bunch of other sound effects included in the game which the developer just downloaded straight from freesound org and other places on the internet. They also use a camera feed on their website which is stolen from a Turkish government website, but they just covered up the logo so you don't know that they stole it. The point of this game is for you to solve this blind puzzle maze as they call it and then go into the game's discord server and enter the code that you get at the end of the puzzle. But since the developer is so incompetent, they just left all of the game files open so you could just go in there and copy the code and put it in the discord without ever having played the game. So the main draw behind this game is that there is a mystery in the form of an alternate reality game or ARG that takes place in the game's discord server. And you actually don't even need to buy the game on Steam to participate in the ARG, so the fact that this game is even for sale at all is kind of strange. However, there is one fatal flaw with this ARG. The first step of the mystery cannot even be attempted until the developer has sold at a minimum 3,024 copies of the game. And even then, it's still going to be impossible to complete this very first step. That is because the very first step of the ARG involves having 3,024 people that all purchase the game online in the Discord at the exact same time. Once everyone is online, they then must send 3,024 unique codes in the Discord server within a 10 minute window. Now that sounds impossible, because it is. Without even talking about the improbability of coordinating 3,000 people on the internet to do anything at the same time, we also have to consider that Discord can barely handle 30 people chatting in a server at once, so there's no way it'll be able to handle 3,000. So, needless to say, this ARG is physically impossible to complete. And because of the way that it's set up, it's almost like a pyramid scheme. People who spend money on the game are incentivized to recruit others to also get the game since the only way that the puzzle will ever be solved is if 3,024 people buy the game. And then to add on to this pyramid scheme nature, at one point the developer was paying streamers to recruit their viewers to buy the game. So they would give the streamer a cut of the revenue they collected. which kind of just seems more like a pyramid scheme. Nonetheless, the developer probably wasn't proud of doing this and they took down any VOD or any video or reference of any streamer having that deal. Uh, the only evidence of that happening is actually in my video, which is now copyright claimed. So that's the backstory on the game and what the developer's been up to recently. So let's get into what's happening to my YouTube channel and actually another YouTuber's channel. Anyone who has uploaded video footage of this game received a DMCA takedown notice from the developer of the game last week. For me, they were kind enough to give a seven day warning before the copyright strike was applied, but that wasn't the case for the other YouTuber I spoke with. After I posted about this copyright strike to my Twitter, another awesome YouTuber named Sid Alpha saw my tweet and he did a video of his own on the situation as part of his Dirty Devs series. 
Thanks to Sid signal boosting my video, a lot of attention was brought to the game and the nefarious behavior of its developers. Because of this increased interest, many people began leaving comments on the game's discussion forum on Steam, calling out the dev for abusing the DMCA takedown feature on YouTube. Of course, most of these discussion threads were deleted almost immediately, and anyone who commented in them was permanently banned from the Steam forums of the game. In case you don't know what a DMCA takedown is, it's a compliance activity that YouTube must do to maintain adherence to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. This act was designed to protect copyrighted work from being re-uploaded to the internet. So think of things like illegally uploading music or movies in their entirety. In the example of a video game review though, we're not seeing any violation of this act. Everything in my video is protected under fair use guidelines. Not only was all of the video recorded and edited by myself, I'm not sure that you can copyright a black screen since that's all that this game includes. Instead, what the developers are trying to do is simply get my video removed as it was one of the first results on Google when you search the name of the game. Since my video exposed it for the dishonest scam that it is, I was hurting their sales, so they figured they could just file a DMCA takedown and silence my criticism. But unfortunately for the developer, he doesn't understand what the purpose of a DMCA takedown is. He even admitted this, not only on the game's Steam forums, but also in an email that he wrote to me on the day that the copyright strike was applied. I'll read the email in its entirety. Hi John, they didn't even spell my name right. What a great start. This is Aisha from Scam Developer Game Studios. Yeah, I'm sure that's your real name. It's definitely not the developer pretending to be a different person. I am responsible for the general communication of the studio. It is my responsibility to forward the message below to you. When we look at your YouTube content, we do not take the content you made for our game personally but we had to request removal, even if we didn't want to, because the users gave false information. We say we didn't want it because contrary to what you think, we were able to get more interaction and sales thanks to your video. We can call it the Streisand effect. Okay, so the developer themselves just admitted here that they had to remove the video because of false information. First of all, that's not what the DMCA takedown is supposed to be used for. It's for copyright infringement, not false information. And second of all, which part of my video was false information? Because maybe if it was, you could have released a statement of your own dispelling the false information instead of filing a frivolous copyright takedown. Anyway, they continue. This was a situation we made a difficult decision as a team. Whoa. Yeah, English is obviously not their first language, so this is a tough read. Because your video arouses people's curiosity and they try the game. That's why we requested to remove your video without getting a warning from YouTube and we gave you seven days. If we were wrong about the DMCA, YouTube wouldn't allow it. In this process, they approved by asking us for trademark registration information. They don't ask why we demand this. They just want our trademark registration information. This is the funniest part of the email. Basically, they're saying, if it was a crime, then nobody would have let us do it. Now, I'm not so sure how the legal system works in Turkey, which is where this developer is from, but I'm pretty sure that even there, the police don't just sit at your door all day waiting for you to commit crimes. Just because nobody stopped you from committing said crime doesn't mean that it's illegal to do whatever crime you just did. Continuing in the developer's words, We think that we will not encounter content that does not reflect any other truth made by you or helped by you in the future on any platform. If this continues, we will have to protect our brand and we will resort to legal means, albeit unwillingly. We keep a backup video for proof. We have a larger community that already owns the game, plays and shares game-related posts with each other, and has no issues with the game. It is our duty to protect this community as well. We would like to point out that this game is HAD eligible to be released after passing the approval period from all three stores. The process for each store took at least one month. In case of a policy violation, the game would have not been released anyway. Again, they're basically saying, if it was wrong, then somebody would have stopped us. But it's well known that the quality control measures in place for the major game distributors are lacking, to say the least. Steam just wants their $100 fee and their 30% cut. They don't really care if your game is full of stolen assets unless someone causes a stink about it. Which, for a perfect example, we can look at the game only up when it was removed from Steam. The game was on Steam for a period of time with no problems, but then it was revealed that it had some stolen assets. Only then was it taken down until the stolen assets were removed. You could say that these platforms operate with reactive punishment, not proactive. Which makes sense because of the sheer volume of games being uploaded every day. They don't have time to play every single one of them. As you know, if you feed a society with evil, evil grows. If you feed it with good, good grows. This depends entirely on the leader's preference. Your audience, who takes action with your misdirection, is committing a crime by unintentionally disparaging the company. We take note of those who continue this. 
We will initiate the judicial process when necessary. I mean, this part's just hilarious. I am the evil one for exposing your scam? Definitely. If you have a question about the game or the situation, you can ask without hesitation. <laughs> Again, this is funny to me since I emailed them multiple times before they sent this, um, trying to prevent this whole situation and they completely ignored me. And then I went into the Discord and asked to speak to the developer only to find myself getting banned and blocked. Sincerely, then the fake name again. So far, we've confirmed at least one other YouTuber who has been affected by the developer filing these fake takedown notices. And the craziest part of this is that that guy didn't even have any commentary on his video. His channel is just strictly no commentary gameplay footage of a ton of games on Steam. So this makes me think that the developers don't want anyone to see what the game actually looks like, because otherwise nobody would buy it. Like I said, the game has no visuals and it's just a black screen with some terrible AI voices. So it's no wonder why they wouldn't want people to see what it looks like before they buy it. The developers seem to be getting more and more desperate for this scam to pay off, which is highly unlikely at this point, since they've lowered the price from the original $50 all the way down to just $3.50. Although, like I said earlier, they removed the need to purchase the game to play the ARG. So there's literally not a reason anyone should ever purchase the game at this point. If it wasn't a scam before, it probably is now. Not only is the guy behind it trying to hide any criticism of his game, he's also trying to get sympathy by bringing up the earthquake in Turkey as some sort of defense when people call this a scam. From the developer himself, You complained about the price of the game, and you are right. We made the first prices with the recommendation of Steam, and we learned from you that this recommendation is high. We lowered the price to your suggested price, but you're still finding it high right now, and we're listening to you. We will discount the price according to the countries, but we can't offer big price reductions because Steam doesn't allow high discounts, as well as not being unfair to those who bought it before. Interesting, because after you said this, Mr. Developer, you went and lowered the price of the game four more times. We appreciate your disliking of the game. It's impossible to please everyone. And if you don't like it, you have the right to refund it and comment as you wish. <laughs> really? People like you developed this game full-time work for two years, and nobody tried to do the worst. We always tried to do the best. It is very sad to see the offensive comments. As you know, there was a big earthquake in Turkey. Some of our friends lost their relatives. Let's not upset more people with comments like this. If you don't enjoy the community, you are welcome to leave. Come on, bro. Don't use a natural disaster that resulted in a lot of death and damage as some sort of sympathy play for your sorry attempt at a get-rich-quick scheme. Evil in, evil out, right? After my video was taken down the other day, some of both mine and Sid's subscribers took to the Steam discussion forum for the game to raise awareness of the developer's abusive practices, since I can't because I'm banned. One user posted, warning, devs covering up things. This won't be here long, the devs are removing posts that expose their BS, but warning to anyone wanting to get this, don't, it's a scam, plain and simple. Then the developer responds, Hello, we are not covering up things. We just want to prevent the spread of misinformation. This misinformation also consists of incomplete information and abuse of it. Some influencers, hey, I'm an influencer, degrade the game due to incomplete information. You should know that this game is not an NFT game. Steam doesn't allow NFT games anyway. It takes at least one month for a game to qualify for release on Steam. This game has passed all processes successfully. The other thing most of you are stuck with is the impossibility of the Discord puzzle. It is said that it cannot be done without trying it yet. If we really try and think that the time is insufficient, we will extend the time. Simple as that. By the way, anyone can join Discord puzzles without buying the game. You will always have the right to refund the game. We will release the demo of the game soon. The video below has a dislike ratio of 264 dislikes to 42 likes, and every single comment calling the game a scam was deleted. And I know this because I looked at it earlier, and there were comments saying it was a scam, and now they're not here. But I didn't take a screenshot, so you'll just have to believe me. Another user then responds basically saying that DMCA does not mean misinformation or slander or anything like that. It just means copyright infringement. So even if I was lying in my video, it wouldn't be the proper legal route to file a DMCA takedown. The developer's response to this is almost an exact copy of the email that they sent to me, although there is this one extra paragraph which I'll read. This game was released on February 3rd, 2023, and since then our player community has been growing. No one thinks they have been tricked or deceived. Please do not allow other people to direct your thoughts. Question it yourself and try it. I love that they say no one thinks they've been tricked or deceived. Every review on Steam that wasn't made by a bot says that this is a scam and not to buy it. Hey, maybe I should DMCA him because he's spreading misinformation. So this discussion post was then locked so nobody could add any more comments, and the developer deleted every other thread which was just calling the game a scam. I didn't get any screenshots of these posts though, but maybe someone archived them, so if you did, 
please feel free to comment a link and I'll pin it. And that's the story so far. I just wanted to put this quick video together to explain the situation and why the video is no longer on my channel. In case you haven't seen the video in question yet, a mirror of it exists on my Odyssey channel, which I'll link below in the description. Go subscribe to me there if you haven't, because it'll serve as a permanent backup of my entire YouTube channel if this ever happens again. And while you're at it, go and subscribe to Sid Alpha on YouTube. His channel is not only super similar to mine as far as exposing slimy devs goes, but he did me a massive favor by boosting my channel to get me the support that I need to fight this claim. And to the dude behind the game, I am awaiting your lawsuit. If you are so desperate for money that you're willing to reduce the price of your game tenfold just to sell an extra four copies, then I'm not so sure that you have the financial means to file an international copyright lawsuit, which is going to immediately be thrown out. Also, you're committing perjury by filing a false DMCA takedown request, which is a crime in both Turkey and the United States. So yeah, good luck with that one, buddy. You've got a copy of my video, and I have screenshots of you admitting to perjury. And not only were you stupid enough to admit this in the private email, you've literally pinned it to the Steam discussion forum of your game. Like you said, nothing good comes to evil people. So let's see how this situation ends. Censoring discussion around your game and trying to manipulate the review score on Steam sounds kind of evil to me, but hey, what do I know? Anyway, that's all for today. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, then you'll probably like some of my other content since I talk about dishonest and scummy developers in just about every other video on this channel. And to my regular viewers and subscribers, thanks as always for sticking with me and fighting the good fight. Goodbye.